Welcome back to this guy's garage. Today we're going to show you how to paint a car hood from start to finish. Aluminum hoods, when they get rock chips in them, they tend to corrode and it pushes the paint off, but it really looks worse than it is. We're going to give you all the tips and tricks that you need to get a job like this at home. All this coming up. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to bag the car. Now this is static cling bag wrap. It will cling to the car. It'll keep overspray off the car. Great product. Norton makes it. It's 30, 40 bucks. And it'll do 15, 20 cars. So I'm just cutting the bag here with a razor blade just to get the bag to come around the hinges. So the hood is one of those areas we want to keep as clean as possible. So we want to make sure any dirt that's under the hood stays under the hood. And we'll have a clean surface area to paint. So the next thing we want to do, we want to wash all the contaminants off the hood. All the bird shit. Silicone. This will be washed multiple times through the process. Because I'm only blending my base, I'm going to now have to put a polish on this hood to make sure that everything blends into a clean surface. Let's get the polisher. So the next thing we want to do, we want to polish this hood. This is just like varnishing cabinets. If you varnish over dirt, you'll always have dirt. So we want to polish this up to a mirror shine, make sure it's good and clean. So what I'm using here is a medium grade G6 compound by Ferecla. Any compound will do. This is this part of the process is basically a deep clean process. So now we're going to take some 180 grit feather edge sandpaper, put it on our sander and remove the corrosion from the hood. grit on the feather edger and I sanded down the leading edge took away all the rock chips so right here where we had our corrosion dimples I'm gonna put a part of I'm gonna put some two part spot putty on this so we're gonna mix up some spot putty and some hardener these little corrosion dimples are the only thing that I'm concerned about Sand it and prime it, and it'll be good to go.
So now that I have this feather edge, you can see there's a, a transition area between each color, and that ensures a smooth feather edge. So I'm going to take some 1K primer, I'm using 1K Build Pro 4. This is very smooth now, so I just want to get a coat of primer on it. Leave that dry thoroughly. And I can start prepping up the rest of the car for paint. So I have some 600 gold 3M here. I'm going to wet sand the areas that I'm going to be painting. Then I'll go over the areas I'm going to be clearing with some 1500 clear, 1500 wet. Dry it off. Get painting. I'm using 1500 wet sandpaper in all the blended areas. Don't be afraid to use lots of paper towel to dry up the hood. Very important to get rid of all that water. So as a precaution right now, I'm draining my compressor. I'll show you a few other things that you can do. So the color is Sonic Blue. The mix ratio is three to one. I'll be using the three to one Chart on the cup. No color match is ever 100%. That's why I'm blending out my color. I want to keep much of the hood as original color as possible. That was why we buffed it out. So what I'm looking for there is, I'm just basically checking the viscosity of the paint. Count it when it starts breaking up and stop making a stream, which is about four seconds. Always strain your paint. All right, now I'll tack it, wash it, and paint it. A lot of times, because condensation will build up in your airlines, it'll make water. What I like to do, 
keep from getting water drips in my hood. If I'm painting the side, I don't generally bother with this because gravity takes over. But if gravity takes over while I'm on the hood, it's a bad day. Paper towel will catch any water that's coming at the coupler. So I've got the shop up to about 70 degrees. Let me give this a final wash. Pack it off, put some paint on, and give it two good wet coats of clear. We've got some bare metal spots. I'm going to put some edge primer on. Just a mist. It took me three coats of base to cover my primer spots. You may ha have to put as many as six or seven coats. You just keep looking at it and make sure you can't see through it. When you can't see through it, you can put your clear coat on. It's very important to let each coat dry before you put on your next coat. Generally 10 to 15 minutes between coats depending on the heat and humidity. The mix ratio on the Speed Coat European Clear Coat is 2 to 1. Two parts clear, one part activator. Mix your clear coat thoroughly before you ever put it into the gun. When we're painting naturally, we want to reach out to the, the center of the hood and start painting there. That's the wrong place to start. Where the right place to start is right here. You want to start at, at one side, work your way across. That way there, when you walk around to the other side, you're gonna continue your pattern in wet paint. If you start in the middle and work your way back, by the time I get around here to restart, that paint has already had a chance to dry and I have to put more paint on than I need to get that paint to wake back up for 
get everything to level out. And it's already started drying back there. So by starting on one side and working your way across, you will keep a nice even flow of paint. So this is the way you should paint any major panel, like your hood, your roof, or your trunklet, to ensure the optimum result. Uh, the paint gun I'm using is an Astro Nomadic 4008 series siphon feed gun. I used this gun about a, two months ago and uh, just wanted to give it a try for clear coat. Spray is really nice. Use the Speed Coat European Clear for color. I use Limco Select. The paint code was Sonic Blue Metallic. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. If this video helped you out, some you can help us right back by hitting that subscribe button It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. Leave a like. That always helps us out. And until the next time, folks. This guy is...